let's start with the refrigerated items. Right here, these are gluten-free chocolate chip cookies these I'd like. You can definitely tell a difference between gluten-free and regular cookies, but they're organic and they're a better option if you go for cookies. I bought Robert some sushi. He really likes sushi. It's been a while since he had it, so bought some grass-fed beef, some spinach and garlic with fennel. We haven't had this flavor yet. Ryan likes some of the other ones they have. Check this out if you want like a really good sausage. Usually it's um, chicken based, so we're, I'm looking forward to trying this one. I bought some um, bacon, some uncured bacon. This is grass-fed, pasture-raised um, butter. Haven't had this yet, so we shall see how that tastes. Bought a couple things of eggs. Ryan eats them every morning, so I needed to get some more. Some organic hummus. Bought some Havarti cheese, and there's ham here for Robert's lunch sandwich, and then some hard salami. And I got Ryan some slow roasted chicken, I'm sorry, turkey. There's another snack for Robert. Got some rotisserie chicken salad. This stuff's really good. I bought this chicken because I'm going to do a lemon rosemary chicken. I posted a picture on my Instagram and I did not actually film the recipe for it, like the cooking tutorial, so I think I'm gonna do that this week. I bought a big thing of almonds and walnuts. This is really good for breakfast. I just cook it on a skillet. Cast iron skillet's the best, and you can do it with an egg or whatever you prefer. Some corn tortillas, I'm sorry, flour tortillas. If you're looking for flour, our favorite brand is the Guerrero. And I bought some of the chicken, and then we bought some beef cutlets. All natural beef cutler, grass fed. I'm trying to do everything grass fed now as far as um, meats go. And we have this little vegetable mix bite sized potatoes and carrots with rosemary asiago, with rosemary asiago butter. That sounded really good. I bought these because Robert likes these in the morning. Over here, I have some regular bread, and then I bought some Brussels sprouts. We have a cucumber, and zucchini, asparagus, bananas, a couple lemons. I mean, these were up to like 77 cents a piece. That's a lot. Um, a couple avocados, some white potatoes, a couple tomatoes, sweet potatoes, a honeydew melon. I haven't had one of these in a while. Red cabbage. And then this bread, I really like this. I just ran out. You get it in the frozen section. It's gluten-free, and I think it's also, yeah, dairy-free and soy-free. This one's really good. It comes frozen, then I just leave it out, and then it'll thaw. What you doing? Is she in the drawer? Is she in the, hold on a second. Is Coco in the drawer? Silly girl. Anywho. Um, and then we were out of mustard, so I got some mustard. And we got some organic whole milk, some coconut milk. I put this in a lot of stuff that I need to replace milk with. Or I give this to Ryan too. I'll put a little bit of that in um, her bottle when she's drinking her milk. Gluten-free cheddar cheese. These looked good. And I'm going to see if Ryan likes these for a little snack. Some decaf coffee. Couldn't find any organic decaf. Usually I go for that if I'm drinking coffee. And I'll have a cup here and there. So I bought that, and then these are also gluten-free Simple Mills Crunchy Cinnamon. That sounded pretty good. I actually didn't look at the label on the back, so not that bad, I guess. Serving size is three, so really 12 grams of carbs if you get three. So you just kind of watch, you know, how much you consume. Um, rotisserie chicken. These are delicious, and they're so easy because they're already cooked. All you got to do is debone it or whatever you're plan is some organic blueberries, some pickles, these are so good, some garbanzo beans, lentils, and kidney beans, all organic. I don't buy everything organic. I try to as much as possible, but you know, it is what it is. Some, I just saw the Simply Organic Tostitos Salsa. I wanted to try that out. I haven't had salsa in a little while. Regular macaroni and cheese, and I bought some organic macaroni and cheese. And I do buy, for sure, my ketchup organic because there is no high fructose corn syrup in here. Check that out, check that on your labels. You wanna avoid it if you can. I'm gonna try the sunflower, is this, no I'm sorry, almond butter. This looked pretty good, the label wasn't bad either, so we'll try that, and I just got regular peanut butter also. Kettle corn, this is good. Tastes good, rather. 
and some regular tortilla chips. So that is this section. Now let's go over to the frozen stuff. Here's some corn. I always buy organic corn now just because I don't want GMO corn. And so I bought that. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Hi, are you making another mess? Have at it, Ryan. Is Coco helping you make a mess? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Gidoki. So this brand, I've had several of their things from and I really like it, but I did not see these last time I was there. I think because I wasn't looking in the other section where I found these. So Dr. Prager's the four potato hash browns. That looks pretty good. They're all gluten-free, soy-free. You silly girl. And uh, root veggie hash browns. We'll try that. Sweet potato hash browns. That looked pretty good. And garden lights. They have a bigger selection at Target if you're looking for this brand. And these are the blueberry muffins. I threw away a couple other boxes we had, but they were more like chocolate style. And they're so good. They're like zucchini or carrot based normally. Or veggie based anyways. And man, they're really good. But they also have these. I wanted to try these. Um, chocolate crabby, like crabby patties I guess. Um, made with fresh zucchini and carrots. So... This is a really, really good brand. It, you know, the first bite kind of takes a second to get used to, but it's definitely worth it. And I haven't tried these yet. Feel Good Foods. I just picked up a couple different things, just like for snacks here and there, for all of us. So we'll we'll see how these are, and they're all gluten free, which is good. So this is a veggie egg rolls, um, beef and cheddar, taquitos, and chicken empanadas, and some more buckwheat waffles. I am really, really liking these. They're nice because they're um, organic and gluten-free, all that stuff. The Kashi brand one is good too, but these, these actually taste really, really good. So that, and then I got some Kita salmon fillets, wild caught. Always try to get wild caught if you're going for fish. And some fish sticks. And a couple little dinners here. Z I see you. ZD and meatball and mac and cheese. So that is about it. This again was all the frozen stuff here and all the fresh, you know, or refrigerated stuff and then veggie cakes and on from there. So that is it. Let me know if you guys. Here is another shot of everything I bought. Again, these are the frozen items, and I'll show you the grocery refrigerated section as well as just some miscellaneous items. Hope you guys like this video. If you want to see another one kind of similar to this, let me know below. I just thought it would be a fun short video to do, something different. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.